Friends in Christ, with the whole church we have begun the season of Lent, 40 days of preparation for Easter. We come to this season as days of isolation stretch on, when it can be a challenge to distinguish one day from another. We hope that these midweek services will be an opportunity for you to pause, to be intentional with your time, to focus on prayer and reflection, and to remember the promises of your baptism. We have organized this service around the words and music of Psalm 141, as it is found in the Evangelical Lutheran Worship Hymnal's Service of Evening Prayer. In it, the psalmist mentions their hands, mouth, lips, heart, and eyes, representing the whole body and the whole self turning to God in prayer. We are invited to do the same. Let's take a moment to slow down, to quiet our minds, to center ourselves. Breathe deeply. Exhale. Settle in as we turn our focus and our worship toward our gracious and loving God, lifting up our hands as an offering to our Lord. of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have made us your people and called us to do your work with our hands. The wilderness of this past year has caused us to be more idle yet still somehow has left us weary, in need of refreshment for the road ahead. Come to us, be with us, renew us this Lent, that our lives would be centered in you, and our hands may once again bear your good news to this hurting world, that we and all your creation might find healing and peace. May our prayers rise before you as incense, the lifting up of our hands as a sacrifice of thanksgiving and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
from 1 John. We declare to you what was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we have looked at and touched with our hands concerning the word of life. This life was revealed, and we have seen it and testify to it, and declare to you the eternal life that was with the Father and was revealed to us. We declare to you what we have seen and heard, so that you also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing these things so that our joy may be complete. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. And the Spirit immediately drove him into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness forty days, tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild beasts, and the angels waited on him. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. The first Sunday in Lent shares the story of Jesus' baptism, followed by his temptation in the desert or the wilderness. Throughout Scripture, wilderness conveys a sense of uncertainty, struggle, and spiritual testing for God's people. This past year has been such a struggle for us as well. We might call it a wilderness time. We have not been able to do all that we would have liked to do. We have not been able to serve our neighbors as we had hoped. We have not been able to use our arms to embrace or our hands to share greetings of peace in our worship. Our hands have not been able to give and receive God's gifts in Holy Communion. There has been so much loss, not just of such activity, but of God's beloved people, and there's no way to adequately process and grieve. We are reminded of how vulnerable we are, how precious life is, how all is a gift from God, and how deeply we need God's mercy and grace. We are invited in Lent to turn our whole selves to God, and as we do, to receive the good news of God with our whole selves, as the author of 1 John writes. In baptism, we were brought into relationship with God, and the word of life comes to us again and anew day after day, helping us find hope and even joy in times of wilderness. Jesus' 40 days in the desert are a time of preparation for his ministry, as are other biblical journeys through the wilderness. These times are a means of transformation, as God prepares God's people for new things to come. Lent provides us a similar opportunity. As we engage more fully in the practices of our faith, God may work in us, allowing us to become the people God would have us be. Our hands have been given some rest this past year, yet God is preparing us to go out into the world again to bear the good news of God's love and to use our hands to do God's work, serving and blessing God's people through our ministry in daily life. Through the wilderness and beyond, God has been is and will be faithful to us and to God's promises. In grateful response, we lift up our hands to God in praise and thanksgiving, open both to give and to receive, that we and others may experience new life in Christ Jesus. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us 
us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice.